much more than anything in the entire eternal universe. You are the ultimate, the absolute, and the total of all sons. Chin. Maybe I can take that out a little bit. Blend that out. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is the Buddha, and he is all about infinite love. Mm. And he smells like a dream. Dream. That's what it is. He's a total dream. And he'll always look good no, no matter how old he gets. And he always smells good no matter how old he gets. And if he never took a shower, he would still smell incredibly good. Matter of fact, is the longer in between the showers, the better he smells. But Paul gives him showers once in a while and I wipe him with this wet towel. So needs a lot of needs a lot of shiatsu massages. And then he feels a lot better. He likes that being wiped with the towel. <laughs> He's looking at you all. And his message is infinite love for all living beings. <laughs> that is the truth. That is the absolute truth, the total truth, and the ultimate truth. And the only truth. Because all of us beings you know, whether we are dogs, or humans, or horses, it doesn't really matter. We are infinite light, love, and abundance. And only love matters. Not business deals and stuff like this. Not, not ripping people off and what matters is love you can't even sell love <laughs> that legs open like this that means he's relaxed he even likes to be petted and there where there's no hair feels real good right now. I got a ma shiatsu massage and now he is real relaxed. <laughs> and boy, that is the state of mind, of nervous system, that I wish every living being to have. Every living being, every animal and every human that's the state of mind we want. I'm not in that state of mind. I'm far from it. But that's my aspiration. Okay? Because the meaning of life is feeling joy. And true joy and true love is helping others. It's going out there and helping others. Mainly with your own activism work, with your own 
type writing, with your own letter writing, you know, and letter sending, and by regular ma regular mail, and, uh, if possible. That's the that's the absolute best if you can do that. But also letters that are sent on the internet, and also petitions signed on the internet are very very effective. Okay, some people think they're not, but they're they're very effective. We have we have been able to for years now to accomplish major major law shifts and gotten incredible animal rights laws just because of online petitions. Enough people signing, you know, so ha makes it makes a huge has a huge effect on our activism. Mm -hmm. Helps a lot to sign petitions on the internet. And also in person when somebody is petitioning for the whales on the street, which I have done. I've done um, many, many hours. I can't count it anymore in LA and also here in the North Coast. So I can't count, I don't know, thousands, thousands of hours I've put into that. And I've gotten over 2,000 signatures, so maybe 2,500 or something, all together by now. And I sent a lot of those petition forms to Hillary Clinton. I also sent them to John Kerry in the beginning. And so, different people. Yeah, that's all we can do, you know. I don't have any other leverage. It's a it's a tough treading sometimes. It's very tough treading. It's a lot of emotions were involved in that. He doesn't want to kiss away right now. He's true light. True love. Only the Buddha can be in a position like this for a long time. <laughs> He's looking at the camera and the message is infinite love all living beings. <laughs> so go out there and rescue a dog from a shelter if you want a pet or a cat or a guinea pig and give these animals everything they need. Okay, restless satisfaction of their needs. And to your children too. And then the world can become better and more peaceful. Take care.